just senseless violence. All of this happening during a pop-up party. Philadelphia police say these types of gatherings have been happening all summer long. Essentially, young people post about a gathering on social media and then just show up. Now, sometimes these get out of hand, even violent, as we saw this weekend with a Navy veteran getting brutally beaten. And, uh, we got back around 1130 and that's usually when we walk our dogs and go to bed. It was a typical Saturday night for Scott Harris. The 62 year old was walking his dog outside of his home on 30th and Jefferson when something happened that he never would have expected. That night on Saturday, there was a huge party going on over here, a little bit out of control, but nothing terribly concerning to me. The next thing you know, I'm in the emergency room getting stitches. And At some point, Harris blacked out. He felt all of the pain, but has no memory. He later learned that he was assaulted, his wallet taken. It didn't even have any money. Uh, sadly, the only thing I really cared about in that wallet was my mother's driver's license. She passed about 10 years ago, and, oh. and that's kind of how I kept her close, and now I don't even have that. Harris is a Navy veteran who spent years in Iraq and Ukraine. Never did he think his own home is where he would suffer such a brutal beating. Without any significant incidents, and then I come here walking my dog right by my house and get attacked like this. I just, uh, I just don't see the sense in it. Perhaps the one glimmer of humanity Harris does see in all of this is the people who did help. Surveillance video showing a group of women getting him back home. Thank God, you know, there are good people. Yeah. And uh, maybe they're mixed up with some people that aren't so nice and, right. and they just saw a human being in need and, uh, and, and brought me back safely. To, I don't know what happened. Harris says this is not going to change him. He still wants to live in this neighborhood and in this city, but he does say he will be on guard even more now, even when he's just out in the neighborhood walking his dog. And Jackie Tracy, as you saw that image of him from the emergency room, so bloody and graphic, we had to blur it. It's going to be a long recovery for a man who served our country.